Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Dragon Age Origins. Alrighty, when we left off, we were at the camp, and I decided, you know what, I might as well give Liliana this gift now, and sure enough, I'm going to do that. Oh, how dear of you. Thank you so much. Well, there we go. Worked even better than I hoped. And what is the search for the true prophet? This tattered tome explores the possibility that Andraste was a powerful mage and not the maker's chosen. It seems this book was saved from a fire at some point. I'm not sure if I should give that to Liliana. Morrigan, maybe? I don't know. I'll figure that part out. But with that done... And all the shenanigans more or less taken care of in regards to inventory. Which is, that was not the right button. What? Skill what? What? Skill what? What happened skill-wise with Leliana? Huh. Aha! Inspired by my leadership, this party member has gained a massive bonus to cunning. I was unaware that was a thing that could happen. I definitely can't check Shale's. Even though Shale apparently has something similar. Zevran, nope. Okay. It's only Leliana that has it. And it's advanced to four. It's inspired by my leadership. Inspired by how much she likes me. Okay. Cunning is at 29 now. Okay. That is a significant boost. That is a significant boost. I will give you that. Okay. Well, even more worthwhile then. <laughs> okay. Time to head out. And get going. Uh, we shall go with me, obviously. Shall have Morrigan. Leliana, of course. Question is, do I actually bother taking Alistair, or do I take Shale with me? Because she apparently has some plot something going on. I just can't check what it is. Hmm. Interesting. Unsure. Let's go with Alistair for now. For yes. now. There we go. Alright, we shall accept this and move on. That was the wrong button again. God damn it. Uh, to Ferelden's map. And then go back to the mountain. Where we belong. All the way over... Oh, Orzammar. I can just fast travel straight to Orzammar. Oh. Apparently I end up in an attack on my way to Orzammar. Technically not an attack, more of a location. Old Tegrin. I think I've talked to you, haven't I? You have coin, stranger? With Orzammar closed off, old Tegrin can give you a discount. Fine weapon and arms, dwarven made. What's going on in Orzammar? There's two things I'm here for. Travel or trade. Understand? Okay, let's see this discount of yours. Eh, not great, but not terrible. Yeah, not terrible. Ceremonial armored boots. What does that even mean? Requires red. It requires 32 strength, which I have. It's a significant boost to armor. A greater chance of deflecting missile attacks for ceremonial armored boots. Well, I mean, that would be okay, except for the fact that, I mean, well... I don't necessarily need deflection of missiles. Apprentice's amulet? Hmm. Okay. Temperament. Mental resistance. Ornate leather belt. Which is plus one strength. Hmm. That's eh, not terrible. Okay, but I'm still not going to buy it. I'm going to see, however. Do you have anything of what I need? No, you don't. 
darn. I had to look over at the time before I could decide whether I swear or not. Uh, YouTube, what have you done to me? You have made me unable to swear. Ornate silver amulet in the shape of a sword. That's kind of pretty. I'll take that. Just for the sake of it. Just for fun. Um, let's buy a few health poultices too. Why not? Won't be a terrible idea in the long run of things, I don't think. Yeah, it shouldn't be terrible. Uh, injury kit, though. How am I sitting on those? Just three of those? On normal injury kit. And then lesser injury kit, I have 15. Okay, well, I think I'll be fine then. Greater injury kit. What? Cured of all injuries and instantly regains a small amount of health. As opposed to up to three for normal injury kit. Well, I'm going to go for the injury kit. I'm not going to bother with the greater injury kit. Because there's no point. And I guess I'll call that good. Thank you for the shopping. Just don't need that much of it. And we move back into Orzammar. Good. All right. Since I am now technically playing both sides, and I think the game even admits as much, I'm going to do the other thing. Not Dagna. Um, who do I need to talk to? Not an unlikely scholar. Was it in Dust Town? I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember where I'm supposed to go. Uh... She wants to study its theory. Huh. Keep looking for the thief. The thief didn't have the stolen tome. The receipt on his body suggests he may have passed it to someone in the proving grounds. Hmm. Then I'll have to go to the proving grounds to talk. Okay, Prince's favor. I have to go find Anwar Dace. Dace? I don't know. In the deep roads. Um, I already did this. I'm not going to fight as the champion. No, not going to do that. Um, not doing that yet, because that's in the deep roads. Hmm. Okay, so I guess we go to the proving grounds to try and, uh, figure that out. And that is where exactly I hit the wrong button again. There we go. Right where I thought it was. Right over here. I keep hitting the wrong buttons. I've heard about the Orlesian bards. Oh you boy. Haven't. They are quite famous after all. The stories I heard were a little racier. Uh -huh. had to do with how a bard assassinated her target. How they were lulled into complacency. If those stories were true, who would ever agree to entertain a bard in their court? Oh, I don't know. There's a certain allure to danger, isn't there? And besides, you couldn't all be assassins, could you? I'd take my chances. If the stories were true, that is. We had rules about that sort of thing. Strict rules. Such as? You're not going to tell me, are you? Let's just say I had plenty of reasons to join the Chantry, shall we? And leave it at that. Okay. Alrighty. Strict rules and lots of sins. Who's it I'm supposed to talk to? Roofing master? No. Uh, I, I don't think it's proving master I need to talk to, but I keep hitting the wrong button too. Uh, fixer Greddin. Greddin? I'm assuming that's the name. Because that's what I read. Oh boy, it's in... Okay. Oh boy. Those noises again. Wahoo. Fixer Grin. Well! Went immediately to fighting. Why am I not surprised? Okay. Oh! 
And he's dead. Of course he is. I beheaded him. Is it just me, or did I do really badly back there? Ah, oh, yeah, you know, you did really badly, but it's fine. Why the noises? Why the noises? Ready. There we go. Get rid of that and loot the volume of Shaper history off of Fixer Graydon, which is good. Volume of Orzammar history focusing on the relationship between ancestor lineage and the granting of mining permits in the dead trenches. It is not supposed to be removed from the Shaper. It. Well, it did, but now we're all good. We saved it. Thank you, Jerturin, for standing there and doing nothing. This deal was all their making, Warden. Technically, I haven't done anything wrong. We have no business. Unless you want to make a few coins. Not that I'm suggesting anything. But you're holding the prize now. You don't care who you get this shaper at tome from? I have a collector in mind. Who actually sells the item doesn't matter. It's your call. As always, I let people make their own decisions. Okay. I should shut you down hard. Yes, well, I'll keep my nose clean until you're long gone. How about that? I'm just a businessman. I merely exploit opportunities. I won't get in your way. Okay, so what does that mean? I have recovered the tome stolen from the Shaper. You could return it to the Shaper if you wish, or I could get the money from this guy. Hmm. Interesting. It's an idea. I guess I'll bring it back, if only so I don't have to keep listening to that fucking noise. I have no idea what is making that noise there or why, but ugh. Glad to have it done with. Alright. It took me years and years to learn. And even then, I'm not the best at it. So you didn't sneak around when spying? We all had different ways of doing things. Some preferred not to be seen at all. To cloak themselves in shadow and darkness. I realize that it is not such a bad thing to be seen, as long as you do not stand out and are quickly forgotten. I specialize in blending in, not drawing attention and looking like I had every right to be there. It is invisibility, but of another kind. Ah, yes. But I heard you often seduced your targets. They'd remember you. Not if they died. Oh. Dying <clears throat> while in the company of a lovely seductress. Tell me that isn't a good death. I don't know if I should take you seriously. But you scare me sometimes. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm a little scared too. But at the same time, it's also kind of hot. Okay, all right, we'll move on. <laughs> Where was the Shaperit again? It was in the Diamond Quarter, so I'm in the wrong direction. Anyway, wahoo, I'm dumb. What else is new? <laughs> Very little, actually. Okay, it's a commoner here. You were the shopkeeper. Kind of curious if you changed anything. Have you seen my lunch? It's a, it's a piece of like I'm I'm, I'm only that, asking no, because no, you no. never know who's gonna get hungry. Nope. I'm and gonna best in the trays, you know. Buy your I shop your stuff. My st I'm well. Okay. Well, out, now that all of that's out of the way. Hmm. More of an armored gloves. Hmm. It's a bonus to armor, but I don't need that. Not quite good enough. Oh, that's heavy. That is heavy. Don't need that. Alright. 
Remarkable diamond. I can't afford that anymore. I'm not surprised. Okay, well. Let's get out of here. And move on. To the shaper it. I just forget where that is. Is that... Ah, it's at the far end. Okay. Boy, is there a lot of backtracking. News of the hour. I don't care. Oh, boy. Is a, uh, weak man, and he will be a weak king. Yes. Mm. Okay. All right. <sighs> Being in the middle of a political squabble that I have no idea how it works. Not fun. Alright. Hello, Shaper Assistant. You found it. Warden, you have my gratitude. You're a bright spot in an otherwise dark time. You're welcome. At least someone is willing to stand up for tradition. Thank you again. You're welcome. Although I'm kind of confused as to why you still have a thing over your head. I'm not sure why that was a thing, but hey. Well, the mission stuff is gone, so there's ah, that. Ah, return, Warden. Is there more you would know from Orzammar's memories? Uh, could you look at these promissory papers for me? These are Harrowmont lands promised here. But these are not the deals we approved at the Shaperit. Where did you get these? Well, I could tell me who I could tell him who gave them to me for real, or I could say it was in the personal library. Or I could say that's not important. Whom are you protecting? It is a crime against the Shaperit to falsify legal documents. The papers are forged? Not entirely. There were two promised deals but their terms differed significantly from what is presented here. It appears the scripter altered the dates and locations of the agreements to make them identical. Is it true you're related to Harrowmont? He is a kinsman, yes. If you count to the sixth degree of remove, I'm related to every noble lineage still represented in Orzammar. Mm -hmm. I can even trace my descendant directly to House Sigmund, which lost its tie to the Darkspawn 13 generations ago. Fair enough. Do you get to vote on the next king? The Shaperit do not vote. We simply record history as it happens. Fair enough. But you have a preference for king. I cannot speak my opinions. History can be changed with a careless word. What do you know about Vartag Gaborn? The Gaborn family is a minor one, founded when a daughter of the Ferender House married down to a warrior caste man. Her brother died, leaving her family heirless. So the assembly granted him a new family name and allowed him to adopt his daughter's children as heirs. Martag Gavorn is on record asking the assembly to bar Harrowmont from King Endrin's sick room. He is a vocal supporter of Prince Balin. Can you tell me anything about Prince Balin? The prince consulted me before his father died. He wanted to know about King Bimo, the last king to rule during a blight. I told him Bimo made many changes during his rule. The assembly was even disbanded for a two-year period. Bimo declared that, in times of war, the warrior caste answered directly to the king, and all voting was suspended. Balin seemed quite interested. Hmm. All right, I need to have words with someone. You are an outsider, Warden, but not outside the law. I hope you will not do anything to challenge the stability of Orzammar. Yeah, no, no, I will. I will do just that. By just that, I mean stay within the law. Quote, unquote. All right. I'm sure I can go in here, Chamber of the Assembly, and talk to our buddy Vartag here. Well, have you found Lady Dace and Lord Helmy? I talked to the Shaper of Memories. These papers are forged. Forged? Well, naturally they're forged. There is no legal way for Harriman to sell the same land twice over, is there? Tell me where you really got these. You want to know how the game is played? I wrote the papers. 
and left a sizable fee with the registry office to back them. But if you think figuring it out gets you off the line, you don't understand how this works. I'm asking for a show of loyalty, so exactly how much truth is involved shouldn't matter in the slightest. Now, where does your allegiance lie, Warden? I serve only myself. If you cannot support my prince, do not expect him to serve you. If you change your mind, you know what you must do to earn his indulgence. Well, confronted, he's just saying, yeah, I did it, so what? Fuck you. Do it, <laughs> you bitch. All right, fine. I guess I'll do it, because I have no choice now. Okay, all right. So I need to go down into the deep roads now, which I can only do from the commons. Okay. News of the hour. Lord Haramon in threat in the past. Okay. Raise your voice in support of Lord Haramon. All right. I don't care. I literally don't care. Now I understand how Europeans feel when Americans talk politics. Okay. <laughs> I honestly understand it better than I used to. Okay, actually, I think it's this way to go to the deep roads. Isn't it? It is. Okay, good. So everything I needed to do was... Okay. That is what I can't do. First task is... Talk to the father of Lady Dase. Showed it to Lord Helmy. Speak to his mother. Uh, find records of Orta's family and Ortan Thag. Rather, Tag. Uh, still have to go down there. That's somewhere in the deep road, so shouldn't be hard. Uh, build his son, Ruck. Have to find them. And then find... If I want to do that or not. <laughs> I guess that's really the only thing. I'm allowed to go to the front lines now, I believe. Mines Commander. Just can't get enough of our clammy mine air, can you? Did you need something? Oh, I'm looking for Lord Dasse's patrol. I see you have his daughter's seal, so I will not stop you. I appreciate that. But be careful. Just because the beasts have pulled back from Ozamar doesn't mean there are any fewer in the deep roads. True. We finally have the edge, which I doubt. Mm -hmm. well, the beasts are building up numbers for the next attack. Probably. Actually, they've made their move on the surface. The surface? But I thought the vermin never went up that far, except it. Except during blights. Ancestors save us if that's what's happening. What do you know about Paragon Brenka? What anyone knows. She went out there with her entire house, and she's never coming back. You don't think maybe she's still there, Commander? She is a paragon, after all. And now she's an ancestor. No one lasts two years in the tunnels. Are Darkspawn the only danger in these tunnels? Of course not. Down here, you're bound to run into giant spiders, deep stalkers, and other vermin. Oh, joy. Deep stalkers. Ugly beasts they are. Walk on two legs, but they have the head of a worm and hunt in packs. Watch out. They're not afraid to take on a group their own size. Welp. Fick. Are there no dwarves past this point? A few outposts. Legion of the dead, mostly. Fools that they are. Some scavenger types, too. Legion of the dead? It's an independent company of soldiers. They accept no command but their own. Anyone who can bear arms can join, no matter his crimes. <laughs> or sanity. They hold a funeral when they join and swear their only goal is a glorious death. Cool. Fucking metal, man. <laughs> Alright, I should go. Best of luck. Thank you. Away I go then. Rune plate on the loss of Kal Sharak from the Dwarven Empire. And forward we go into the deep roads. Oh! I can actually explore the deep roads as a different map. That's kind of cool. <laughs> uh, I can switch from one side to the other. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Aduken Thag. 
Or tag. <laughs> How the hell do you say these things? <laughs> Alright. Here we are. Beautiful. And before I go any further, should use some of the sustained stuff, like flaming weapons. There we go. Get him set up with his, including shield defense. The waiting around part is awesome. How would you shush? I'm making sure you are as set as possible to be tank, because that is what you do. This is a very long hallway. Very long hallway with a lot of broken stuff. Oh. And then a side road. Here. It's been dug up. Something fierce. Twisted creatures. All right, well, let's make you do the As you wish. running forward bit. Oh! Ow. Okay, let's move over to him and make him do a quick heal. And then do a quick one of these. All right. Well, she leveled up, that's good. Let's do a quick heal on myself. Alright, doing good. Turn down my headset because it's a little loud. Alright, dark spawn. More or less dealt with. Beautiful. No chance. No chance at all. Okay. Could have gone a lot worse. Plus Morrigan has a level up, which would work out well if I could hit the right button. Alright, cool. Leveled up to 13. Nice. Um, spirit healer. Huh. Not all entities of the Fade. Oh, she can do the Arcane Warrior. Hmm. I can't necessarily make her do that, but it is an option. Okay. Um... Let's go with willpower, magic, and actually, you know what, let's undo that one. Do more willpower than that. And, huh. Maybe cunning is a good one? Yeah, that should be good. All right. Um, regeneration would be good, but it's severely limiting her ability to attack. And again, she does have a lot of abilities to attack with, so I shouldn't really be complaining all that much about what she can and can't attack with. Uh, spirit? Hmm. Hmm. Death magic. Hmm. Nearby entropic energy draining residual life force from any dead enemy nearby to heal the caster. Hmm. That would be good for her. Extremely good for her. Hmm. friendly fire possible that's where that's where the problems start um greatly accelerating health regeneration that's actually not terrible though i'll 
go ahead and do that if only for the fact that it is useful and then throw that onto her tactics as well um let's go with ally health at yeah let's do 50 percent and change that to usability of regeneration there we go yeah that shouldn't be too terrible yeah i'm okay with that all right and now with that done lesser Got health it. poultice get the money and loot off of them acid flasks included death root extract included i guess there's also something over here Fractured stone. Ooh, some frost rock. Okay, that ain't terrible. Extremely terrible, anyway. And I can't go further this way, because... Lava! Gotcha. Lots and lots of lava. Liquid hot magma. Well, some more. Of course. Why am I not surprised? Okay, oh go and deal with you. And I should also have me dealing with you. Come on. There we go. Good. And we'll deal with you. We will also do this to you. Bam. And a little extra combat. Beat em ups. Good. Yeah, you are not getting away with constantly shooting. And time to beat you. Quite a bit. Quite a bit. I'll get on it. Black rune stone. A flat black stone with a glowing silver rune carved into it. Interesting. I'll take that. Yeah. Oh, well, that's uh That's a Liliana thing. I'll do that in a second. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my Oi! Calm down. Lyrium dust. I did not expect to find lyrium dust down here, but here we are. Back. Uh, Liliana, you need to unlock this for me. What? Thank you. Large darkspawn shield of viridium. Interesting. That was the wrong direction. <laughs> Man, even if I'm in the right menu, I still screw up. All right. Okay. That's decent. This looks like looks as though it was torn from the bony armor of some colossal animal. An extremely unpleasant animal, most likely. Yeah, probably. Let's look. Um, it is a little better in the fatigue and missile deflection stuff, but it doesn't give plus four attack like the Shield of High Arthur does. Hmm. Okay. Well. I'd say it's still good enough. So we'll just give these to Alistair. For now. <sighs> It is still technically good enough. He does hit quite a bit more often than not anyway. So it should be fine. Should be fine. Alright, so we have now looted and gone in all of the mainly available directions. We came from over there, so we won't go that way down. But... 
There's something over here. Looks like small bloody sack. Ugh. Bag of limbs. The limbs of some demonic creatures in this sack. Okay. That's a thing, I guess. Whatever. Well, in that case. You 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 go first. There we go. Okay. Um the emissary shall get a bit of the beat up. We're gonna make sure I do that. And then a little bit of that. All right, doing good so far. Fantastic. Oh, I am stuck. I'm stuck in some sort of trap. Okay. Now we move on to you. We'll beat you up. Good. There we go. And done. Could have gone worse. Could have gone better, but could have gone worse. Fire crystal. Nice. Acid flask. Okay. The emissary. An amethyst and some soul rot coating. Okay. Acidic coating. Alright. Fair enough. And then the one we beat down here. Okay. Fair enough. It's about as far as either of these will go. Alright, further down. Is there anything I should be worried about? Deep Stalker. Okay. Ah, so that's what they meant by a Deep Stalker, huh? Huh. Looks a bit like a dinosaur, actually. Okay, then. Alistair? Calm down just a little bit. Oh boy. There is a lot of them coming up. I was about to say, Alistair, you are literally letting one bite at your ass. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Alright, whatever. They are dealt with, which is good. Fractured stone, which is... Also dealt with. That sounds like lava. So I'm not going to be over there long. I have no idea if this is... I have no idea if this is possibly, like, mainlining story direction or not. I'm not going to risk it too much. Then again, I don't know if it's critical path or not. So, Alonzi. Oh, uh, maybe. Huh. Uh-ho. Yes. All right. It's your time to die. Oh, I see. We're helping them. Well, I absolutely should be doing that. I'll get on it. All right. Well, it's not difficult if I manage to have them target the right things. There we go. Alright. Well, if you started doing things faster, maybe. Alright. Careful. I don't think that's the last of them. Probably not. Well! You weren't wrong. Hey, a decent amount of damage on all. All right. How about now? Is that all of them now? Lord Dusse. Hold us from a tight spot, friend. You have my gratitude. 
I am Lord Anwad Gase. So what's a human doing out here anyway? Well... Lord Haramont is trying to cheat your family. What are you talking about? I've dealt with Haramont many times and he's always been forthright. I'm not ungrateful for your assistance, but I hope you have some evidence to back such an accusation. Yeah. See for yourself, I brought these promissory notes. Or rather, Vartag Gavorn gave me these promissory notes. That snake! Believe nothing he says. He'd do anything to win the throne for Balin. Still, these are worth investigating. I'll not have my house enter a deal unless it's to our advantage. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. I must return now. My men need healing and I want to look into this. You wish to travel with us? Uh, no, I'm going to explore further. Be careful then. There are more dangerous things than deep stalkers down here. Very true. But I can handle almost anything. Well, I'd appreciate that. Ooh, a dwarven longsword. Cool. Is that chest also locked? Yes, it is. Not for long, dwarven massive armored boots and a diamond mall again. How about that? Let's look at that. Uh, that's junk, obviously. Uh, the diamond mall. Let's move to me. Oh, I can equip it. That's something, at least. 32 strength. That ain't too bad. Just not good enough. Okay, we'll just move that to junk as well. And then the massive armored boots. Needs 36. Okay, but it is quite a bit of armor. The work of a dwarven master smith. These are not only as strong as a fortress, they are also adorned with intricate geometrical inlay of semi-precious stones. With equip when equipped with a set of dwarven massive armor and gloves, the character gains a bonus to armor. It's hard to beat. But, at the same time, not something I'm intentionally looking for. Wooden crate. Dark spawn longsword. Okay, that's definitely junk. There's no reason I'll be carrying that. None at all. Bye bye Okay. And, oh geez. Lots of them across this bridge. Think we've something to our Probably. Probably more of the Dark Stalkers. Deep Stalkers. Right. Whatever the hell. Right. Dark Stalkers. That's a whole different freaking game. What the fuck am I talking about? Okay. Alright. Either way, these aren't going to be that difficult. Alright. There we go. Good. Went better than I could have hoped. These guys did not really survive all that well, though. They definitely lost some guys on their way here. For sure. Alright. Metal kite shield. Huh? Is that technically better than what I just gave it to Alistair? Yes and no. Okay, it adds more to fatigue, adds more to missile deflection, and more to defense, but it requires strength that Alistair does not have. Okay, well. When's his next level up? I have no idea. Ah, it's coming up soon. Okay, we'll deal with that when we get to it. Alright. And go further down this direction, I guess. Okay. There we go. Done. Beautiful. Alright. Okay, now I'm stunned. That's a first. Okay, there we go. That would be easier if you actually did the things I asked of you. There we go. Alright. That could have been worse. That could have been much worse. As it is, it was still pretty decent. Now the question is, does this loop around itself?
Maybe. Does go up. Alright, that ain't terrible. Mm, the beast. Let's maul it. <laughs> oh! Didn't expect one coming up behind me. Alright. Alright. Could have been worse. enough all right and we are actually over time so it is now time for me to end the episode and i don't know figure out where else i'm gonna go oh geez so many paths so many paths jesus and a floating body that's weird okay um well i'll continue going down this path until i have exhausted it both options and uh well, i'll mainly go this path i think so yeah that's good but for now thank you all so much for watching click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more click the like button if you like this particular video i can talk really i can and share and comment so i can bring more people into this community we can talk about the games we're playing together and i will see you all in the next episode this has been the one the only stray cat playing games and trying my damnedest to make a good decision for the dwarves while also doing all of the crazy political intrigue missions for the dwarves because there's so many of them. Oh boy. But we will get there in the end. And hey, now we have the deep roads we can explore. And apparently they are just as wild as I imagined. If not more. For you.